Hello and welcome to Nick and Swarly doing TNA. I am Nick and with me is Swarly. Hello, Swarly. Hello. Well, this is a very stilted intro that we are doing. I was doing tech stuff while trying to intro at the same time and okay. I can't walk and chew gum, apparently. Fair enough. How are you doing? I mean, that that's fair, because I went to, while you were doing that, I went to open the Twitch app to open your chat up, and it would ran an update, and I was like, no, this is, no, <laughs> this is, no, not now. Oh, that's the thing I forgot to do. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Looks like I'll be yeah. looking sideways for the chat. How's it going, Ryan? See, I missed, I missed Ryan talking. This is, oh my god, what a disaster. Uh... He started a TNA save, and it's already going about as well as ours did in the beginning. Oh, huh. He okay. got dropped to a graveyard TV slot and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it should be hard to play as TNA. They're, <laughs> they yes. are not in a good place right now. Well, soon they'll have The Rock, and everything will be better. Yeah, everything will be all right. Uh, we just did our victory road. And we're moving on to Sacrifice? That sounds correct. Yep, at the end of the month. And then Slammiversary is in two months. Hell yeah. Headlined by The Rock versus Ethan Carter? Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's move on to Impact. Oh, it's already 1 a.m. in England. I wish I could stream earlier for my uh, UK viewers and European viewers and all that. But uh, I work, so that's not going to happen. Uh, well, I mean, obviously it's time to chase your dream, quit your job, become a professional TEW Twitch streamer. That's lucrative, right? Swarley, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, sure. Have you forgotten mini Rey Mysterio? <laughs> Wait, there's a Rey Mysterio smaller than the normal Rey Mysterio? <laughs> yeah, there's a mini Rey Mysterio. <laughs> How small are we talking here? I'm assuming mini wrestler. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess I did. I, yeah, you apparently did forget him. Shame on you. Ricochet's in need of a break. That seems right. He's still indie Ricochet, so. Oh, that's weird. He's working everywhere, I suppose. We started this a long time ago. Yeah, he's still New Japan Ricochet. Yeah. And Prince Puma. And every, prom yeah, like working every promotion in the world, basically. Yeah. PWG should just be, like, set to only bring the best, like, indie people. That would be a nice thing in TEW 2020. If there's, like, companies. But you don't think they should be booking the big guy? Well, like, companies that don't really carry a set roster or a very large roster and just always bring in, like, the best indie guys. Like PWG that, does. I mean, that would be difficult to program. It'd basically be like how touring works in Japan, but for one show. And on a so, bigger scale. I guess. But yeah, oh, Riddick Moss got called up. I don't know who that is. Uh, he was teaming with Tino Sabatelli for a while. I don't know if that's still a thing. He's a generic, muscly guy. Ah, WWE needs more of those. Oh yeah. So he'll be he'll be uh, headlining PWG in five years. Uh, headlining and evolve, baby. Can't wait to see him and Kurt Stallion tear it up. Him and the big guy. A oh, big guy's on evolve. They won't let that happen. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, I I the first update for the dev blog was kind of. Not my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people are very pumped about it. Oh, Keith Lee's back. Oh, excellent. I would like to point out that I'm pretty sure the reason TEW 2020 is happening is because I uh, I finally bought uh, 2016. Yeah. So I, it, like, I, I, as that happened, I'm pretty sure as that purchase happened, like an alarm went off at, uh, what's this dude's name, Ryan? Uh, Adam Rylands. Adam Ryland, that's it. The alarm went off at his thing, and he was like, oh, I swore bought TEW, uh, time to update it. <laughs> yeah. I uh, get yeah, time to get working. Let's go, go, yep. go, go. I don't know. He's saying that to himself, I guess, because he's the only one that work that uh, programs it. But Caleb Conley has morale issues. You're about to have more issues than that, Caleb. Whoa, you're gonna kill Caleb Conley? 
No, he's going to be out of a job. Or, oh, yes. Like, we're not resigning Caleb Conley. Why not? Why would we resign him? He's a stream favorite, Caleb Conley. Uh, Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you might be gone tonight, Caleb. You better, like, uh, bake but, cookies for everybody or something. Oh, boy. Fired. Oh, hold on. I am still dropping frames. Chat, is it uh is it choppy? Is something going on here? Do you want to fire this this man for showing up late? I mean, we were going to fire him anyway, right? He might sue us. Why would he sue us? Uh, unlawful termination, I guess. Is this like a real thing that happens in the game? Yes. All right, then suspend him. Okay. Oh, he's not on a written contract. Fire. Fire him! He's unhappy. And his personality got worse. Who cares? And he doesn't like us. Anymore. Oh, he's... Later, he, dude. He's going to be on a podcast somewhere ripping you. Yeah. I, who cares? Oh. Well, he pretty much works for high spots, so they're probably he'll have a shoot interview for sure. Ethan Page brought free drinks for everyone except Caleb Conley. You think that happened after Caleb got fired and he was like, oh, boy, I'm next. <laughs> yeah. and then he like ran to a convenience store across the street and was like, I got drinks for everybody. It's your old pal, Ethan Page. What's going on, guys? Is it Ethan Page actually friends with someone? Nope. Yep, no friends. No friends whatsoever. Can we make Ethan Page friends with The Rock? Oh, he would love that. Can we try that? No. I would like to try and make Ethan Page friends with The Rock. That's... I mean, if you want Rock to go from getting 90s to, like, 60s, sure. No, I mean in real in real life in the game. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Is that a thing we can do? Yep. Also, don't run this show in Puerto Rico. I won't. Okay. Yes, we are going to try and make The Rock and Ethan Page friends. Let's see what happens. Positive meddling. What is what is positive meddling? Just going up to The Rock and be like, oh, Ethan brought in drinks. Yeah. It's a, he's, a, he's a good dude. Rock being like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink. Get out of my face. Yeah. Why are you talking to The Rock? Yeah. <laughs> Bud Light? What is... <laughs> Rock just picks it up and throws it against the wall. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I guess we could start this show then. I guess we can start this show then. This show that we have lots of ideas for. This show... Uh, Southwest? Sure. Alright, so... We have to somehow build to the Rock and Alex Shelley versus uh, Detroit Rock City. Detroit Rock City versus the the upper upper crust or whatever we call Ethan Carter and MJF. Uh, yes. I I mean you got to start with Ethan Carter, right? He's the new champion. Oh yeah. So I think you ha you start with Ethan Carter. He comes out. Uh, I am once again the champion. What a what a great victory for me! Blah blah blah, etc. I'm the number one wrestler in TNA, the biggest star in the company, bringing all these new eyes in. Ratings are at all time high, all because of Ethan Carter the third. Uh, and then let's see, do is he interrupted by Alex Shelley or The Rock? Shelley first, right? Okay, I I think so. Like. Alex Shelley can can come out and do the like, yeah, you got me. It was a, it was did, a good did match. Did Ethan Carter cheat, or did we just have him win? I feel as if he did not cheat. Okay, and that may have been an oversight on our part because we were just yeah, we were just booking. Yep. Um, yeah. So let's just say in hindsight that he cheated. Um, and then Alex Shelley's gonna come out and be like, blah blah, you, you cheated, etc. Uh, and then I I suppose he. I mean, are we just jumping right to that build up for that tag? Like, have him get jumped here by MJF and then Rock comes out? Rock doesn't come out, and that's just the segment. Uh, yeah, he could get jumped by MJF and then the Rocks makes the save. 
I'm fine with that. So we have EC3 promo. Shelly says EC3 cheated because he did. Yes, MJF he definitely cheated. Attacks. Rock saves. All right. And what is the main event from this now? Don't worry about it. Why, of course, it's Alex Shelley versus MJF. Didn't we do that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure we did. It's part of the build up for EC3 and Shelley. Look, we'll, we'll figure it out. I feel like we might have. Anyway, um, we have any other new champions? Uh, no. Is Kane still on our roster? He sure is. You want to just, you want to take care of this right away? I mean, I thought we were going to have a match now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, um, looking at stuff. Would you like to have the debut of Sasha Martinez and Eva Lise? Sure. Okay. This seems sure. Like a, like a thing that has to happen. Yep. Sasha Martinez and Ivelisse Velez taking on a couple of heels in Shayna Baszler and Mia Yim. Or Madison Eagles and Mia Yim or Madison Eagles and Shayna Baszler. <laughs> Some do, combination of those three women. Do you want to look and see if there's anyone available? Because we're in the Southwest. I mean, we can, but they'll probably all be terrible. Well, at the same time, we probably we're gonna have to give them more than one win. So yes, yeah, we should probably start I'm, them off. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking you do like Madison Eagles and a local talent, and then Mia Yim and a local talent. Let's see if, if they even if there's any, even anybody there's over Austin here. Aries. I suppose I should be looking to see how popular they are. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, she. Died in popularity. Oh, Paige. That feels like cheating. California Paige, do you want to work a one night deal? But she can't wrestle. I mean, I get in the game, it probably thinks she can still wrestle, but like, she can't wrestle. She had been wrestling for WWE. Not yeah. that that affects anything. So you got Brooke, um, Katie Lee Virtual. Are, are Holly Dead and Thunder Rosa an actual team? Because they kind of looked like they were an actual team. Where, where were they? Holly Dead and Thunder Rosa are an actual team. Okay. They are also, like, super not over. Yes. So. Eh. Is it Paige? I don't know. Just That just feels like cheating to me. Okay. So, you got Hogan. What about uh, Katrina? How over is she? Eh. Yeah, not very. I mean, we could bring in Lisa Marie. She's still working? No, she's not working anymore. No, she's not working. Uh, let's do Holly Dead and Thunder Rosa and hope that they work well as a tag team. They would need to be heels. Yes. I mean, they're basically just going to get squashed in a couple of minutes anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, it's two no debuting reason. teams. Oh, wait, one of them's dead. Well, that's a good way to debut them then. Like, oh, we got these two new teams, and oh, wow, that one team just really... Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, okay. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> Ivelisse and Sasha Martinez. I can't believe we went with the name Sasha Martinez. <laughs> I can. <laughs> uh, we'll that sounds like something exactly like what we would do. Six minutes too much? No, that's fine. Okay. All right. Now what are we okay. looking at? Now I think we do the thing. I think we're back. I have, I, I have backstage. Go yep. Go I for got it. it. We have like backstage in the locker room. We mm -hmm. got Kane talking to Jake Hager. 
And yep. Hagrid's like, ah, oh, can you believe that miscarriage of justice? The Rock, what a we we there's unfinished business. Uh, I we got to do something to get back at him. And Kane's like, absolutely. Whenever someone gets unjustly uh, treated like you were, there there has to be repercussions. Uh, and then as that's happening, in my mind, I'm imagining Keith Lee busting through the wall, um, <laughs> like, um, but not falling down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and not, you know, just fucking like the Kool Aid Man, and he's like, "Oh yes, when people are mistreated, there must be repercussions." You are correct. And then Kane and Jake Hager like run away as uh, Keith Lee chases them down. Because uh, for for those of you who do not remember, Keith Lee was out injured because fucking stupid ass Kane hurt him in the War Games match. <laughs> Excuse me, lethal lockdown. Got to stay on brand. Keith Lee is going to murder Hagger and Jacobs, apparently. Yes. Also just destroyed part of this arena. But... <laughs> you know, it's a it's it's a prop wall, it's alright. Okay. So how is Rebecca Knox getting a title shot? Just by being Rebecca Knox? Mm-hmm. Yes. So she doesn't need a match. I think she's no, I think her and uh, Kayla Ray are just going to talk, right? Okay, so we won't go to that yet. Okay. Uh, looking at the other stuff we have. Uh, we're going to Osprey, ACH, and Xavier. Mm-hmm. Should we... we... We can't just do the two number one contenders draw thing again. We can't do that. No, 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 no. Okay. I won't say that I wasn't thinking about it, but now that you have brought it up, no, we cannot. You are correct. Uh, I have no idea how to build to that then. Because, oh no, that's two faces in a heel, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's look at what we got. Did, oh, did we Rocky... not make a match for Lashley? Rocky oh no, he's Romero. wrestling... Wrestling Rocky Romero. Can we give Rocky right. Romero a win here? Um, sure. Just kind of build them up. We'll start up the Lashley bit either next week or whenever. But also maybe test him. Like, <laughs> too bad you guys cut Glenn's son Jimmy at the start of the save. Did we cut Jimmy Jacobs, or was he we not did, here? Yes. I don't remember. Okay. We did cut him. Oh, that sounds that would like been... something I would do because I fucking I can't I hate Jimmy Jacobs. That would have been a good. That would have been a good bit. Ken Glenn Jacobs teaming with Jimmy Jacobs is like nightmare fuel for me. That sounds awful. G responsible uh, politician dad Glenn Jacobs trying to rein in his rebellion son <laughs> yeah, Jimmy his Jacobs. Emo son. Yeah. Yeah. That I want to book that. I won't oh. out of respect for you and your wishes. Thank you. But I want that. This is a test, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, if this doesn't get a good grade, then uh, we know that Rocky got carried by uh, Chuck Taylor. And we, and <laughs> and we, we know, we know what we have to do. And we <laughs> yeah, team him exactly. with Orange Cassidy, and everything's okay. Uh, now what? What should we do here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Just when you say that, you're like a, like an annoyed mom. Like, <laughs> now what? Yo, yeah, now what? T W. <laughs> All right. I think, I think Rebecca Knox comes out. I think you have the horse daughters come out. All the horse. All three of them. Yep. And they basically got a promo, gloating about their victory. Ashley proclaims that Rebecca Knox is, even though she's not a daughter of a famous horseman that she's still allowed in this group because she's like a sister to her, blah, 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 etc. Hey, look at that. Good job. And then she's going to cut a promo basically being like, well, me and Tessa, we got the tag gold. We're horse with daughters. We're going to hold all the gold, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then Rebecca Knox is going to cut down Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray doesn't even necessarily have to come out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, basically just them cutting a promo being like, Becky's going for the belt. This is good. Muy good. I like that Becky showed up and Ashley is the one who is like, Becky's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, she just had to, you know, she had to introduce her. That's all. Yeah. Remember, this is like this is a world where the man Becky Lynch has never happened. No, this is like jokey. Yeah, this is uh, pun Becky. Lynch. Yeah, pun Becky Lynch coming in. So we we you know we got to give her a little bit of an edge here. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a good pun for Kaylee Ray, and it's just not coming. Well, keep working on it. All right, so what what are we going to do for Osprey, ACH, and Xavier here? Unless Sting just comes out and books a triple threat match, and then there's two number one contender matches. Okay, that'll also get Sting on the show. Sting's just like, hey, remember that time Hulk Hogan was here and he was real dumb? (laughs) <laughs> yeah sting just buries hulk hogan for five minutes and it's like oh yeah by the way this is a triple threat tour uh, yeah the whole reason i'm doing this is for yeah. triple eight are Knox and tessa wearing members only jackets hell yeah big aviator sunglasses mm-hmm. carrying their belts like on the you know on their sides instead of wearing them this is all good Uh, triple three. Are we doing Ultimate X or are we doing Ultimate X at the... the thing? I think we're doing Ultimate... At I think we're doing Ultimate Slam X Ocean. at Slammiversary. Although we we could do a King of the Mountain match. We do that at the November one, I thought. No, that's Slammiversary, Bound Bound baby. Well, we did it at Bound for Glory. We absolutely did not. Has King of the Mountain been that long? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not doing a King of the Mountain? We could. I mean, it wouldn't be for the title, but it could, you know. Oh, we it did could Feast be or Famine the, at the other one. Never mind. Yeah, it could be for the X Division title. It could be, like, a number one contenders match. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be the main event for the world title. That's fine. I'm fine with it being either one of those two. We could do that triple threat tag for a, th- a fucking third time. Although we're already setting it up for a ladder match. I guess yeah. that would be two ladder matches in a row. If we did the ladder match. King of the Mountain King is of the Mountain. ladder match. It's... I mean, it's a ladder match. <laughs> <laughs> it's King of the Mountain. <laughs> then I guess we would need to keep it away from the tag people. And make it either X Division or number one contender. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Queen of the Mountain. There's an idea. Ooh... That's actually that's actually Ooh. a good idea. Yes, that's what we're doing. All right, because so this I is mean, just... we have had basically had Kaylee Ray beat everybody, so yep. it would make sense to be like, well, how about everybody at once? And then she loses via not even getting pinned, and that's right. Start the... Kaylee Ray forever. Start that heel turn. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we should just go ahead with one of those number one contender matches. Okay, that's fine. So we, have to, we don't have to do both this week. So it would be uh, Will Ospreay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also... Also... Oh, I don't want to do... I mean, Joey Janela did just wrestle for the X Division title. Okay. So it would make sense that he'd be in a number one contenders match. Will Ospreay wins. Yes. Sorry, Joey. Joey, you failed the test. Sure did. The, the inverse Carl Anderson, Joey Janela. Yeah. Uh, I think we should do something with the triple threat tag, because if, if I remember correctly, our, like, uh, canon finish was, like, Star Wars stealing the pin from the Lucha Bros. Yes, that is exactly what happened. So, um, I, think so I, th- I think we should have a backstage thing where the Lucha Bros kind of, like, storm into their locker room and are in, in broken English being like, our titles, you know. I mean, we in perfect English because they are both fluent in the yes, same. Both fluent in English. That's correct. So never mind. Never mind. I'm just being a racist, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you're being real, but yes, also really racist. <laughs> King of the Mountain match for a role in the Rock's new movie. Ooh, the Rock wins it. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I, I think you even do this with like a um like Sunday night type sticker, like showing that it was at the pay per view that they did this. Sure, that's yeah. fine. YouTube exclusive, except now we put it on TV, so Twitch exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Um 
Yes, CCK is just like, well, we got pinned, so. Don't worry, we'll we'll figure we'll figure something out. All Speaking right. of that, what's our main event? What is our main event? Uh, I really like it. it All right, seems... let's let's look at our uh, roster because we have several high level people that have not even been booked. Lashley, CCK, okay. ACH. Mm hmm. Desmond Shelley, Xavier, Shelley, and and EC three. Okay, I mean, so like the Lashley and Desmond Xavier thing is basically over, but we yep. could kind of, we can maybe extend it one last night. I would rather not. Okay, I'm just spitballing. I know. I just there's no wrong answers here. I feel like that's dead. Okay, deader than a a, a hand truck. I don't know. <laughs> I abandoned that joke. That's, that's true. Desmond Xavier should also be selling his hellacious beating that he re- received yeah. in the hand truck match. Let me let me book a, a recovery angle for. Okay. Uh, Desmond Xavier injury update. He has uh, several. Just get a doctor on there talking. He has several hand truck related injuries. Doesn't look like he will be able to move boxes for a long time. Uh, oh, why? Why would Ultraman and Black wrestle Brick, South Carolina? Yeah, they're friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, they're best friends. Ooh, we could put the women in the main event. W- what match? Horse daughters against anime and or Kaylee Ray and Kaylee Ray. I feel like we've done that three way before, or the triple no six man no, tag before. Be- Becky just got here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it with Madison Eagles. Okay. Why not? Why not? Uh, until the game's like mm, Tessa Blanchard in the main event. We've had MJF in the main event. He's in the main event of our pay per view. Okay. <laughs> We could get Tessa into the Impact main event. Kaylee Ray, uh, da, 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 Mercedes Moon, and Haley Yu Gonzalez. Yes, of course. And uh, who gets the win here? New Japan, baby. Rebecca Knox going over Kaylee Ray. Is that the first time Kaylee Ray's been pinned? No, I think we've had her. Have we New Japan her before? I think so. Undefeated in singles competition? Yeah, that's that's the gimmick. Okay. Uh, what's storytelling? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, but which match is storytelling? I kind of feel like the only one that would make sense is the main event, but that's going to hurt it. You want to book another match and make it storytelling? Um, I mean, we could just, do you think Will Ospreay and Joey Janela could tell no. a story? No, no, I okay. don't. Okay. You want to do just like a, a like a random ass match and have it be storytelling? Just like here, just like here's Bobby Lashley wrestling. I was thinking here's Chris Brooks versus Juice Robinson, but Chris Brooks is angry because he got pinned. That's the story. Here's CCK against Orange Juice. Ah, and CCK is angry because they got yeah. pinned. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that... I limited it to. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Squeeze your. Squeeze your boy onto the show. See, right. I didn't yeah. even think of that until as I was saying it. Okay, so here's Orange Juice. Let's see how much Chris Brooks and Travis Banks can uh, carry one man. Storytelling. Uh, decisive win. Do you have a, a CCK member in mind to win, or just either one? No, I don't. Whatever. All right, I think Brooks was the one who got pinned, so get his win back on Orange Cassidy. Remember how excited we were when we we got Juice? We were like, "Man, I can't believe New Japan cut Juice." Uh I mean, he's he's doing about the same here as he is in New Japan. That's not even true. He was doing well. In New- he was the U.S. champion. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, we we got uh, one minute, right? Yep. Bobby Lashley. One minute promo. Actually, maybe instead of, well, whatever, that's fine. I was going to say maybe just like a recap video of like Bobby Lashley <laughs> keeps on trucking. <laughs> like recapping his feud with uh, Desmond Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Put that uh, either right before or right after the Desmond Xavier injury update. I like it right before. Like Bobby Lashley, it just shows him repeatedly hitting him with the hand truck. <laughs> Keep on trying. And then, like a serious doctor is like, Desmond Xavier has sustained multiple injuries. Yeah, broken ribs. Yeah, fractured uh, orbital bone. He stubbed his big toe. Um, he should be back in action before the pay per view, but. We'll see. Like, yeah. Who needs... Who is going to the pre-show? Why, it's Brody Lee and Braxton Sutter. <laughs> uh, four Corners tag match? Sure. Boy, we're booking a lot of those, huh? Well, now we get to find a teammate for ACH. All right. All right. So, Brax and Big. Uh-huh. Broad and Trevor road uh laredo and laredo no laredo no. kid is suspended that's right laredo was bad so we'll find yeah. a friend for laredo and then ach and friend maybe are... ach and laredo are friends well well maybe that seems weird but okay do you have another team you would like to try and put together then uh, Tracy Williams. Fuck. At, Matt Seidel and Paul London. That's that's just that's just makes begging sense. to happen. Yeah, yeah. Let's just see if it works. They might be too similar. Like it's like no, they have no chemistry. <laughs> They're yep. trying to do the same spots at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let ACH get a win here. I don't know. Okay. He can pin Paul London. Yeah. Well, this, Arlo, this is an elimination match by default, isn't it? Probably, but who cares? Yeah, it's on the pre-show. No one will watch. That's correct. No one comes to TNA shows early. <laughs> sure they do. They're they're locked in the TV studio all day. Uh, we sh I don't know if that's what we're doing, but... Yeah, oh, hey, te te technically, we're touring the country. Yeah. I think after this show, I'm going to need to go and uh, get the chat up because I am missing all the things and I feel bad. I'm a bad streamer right now. Boo, boo this man. Yeah, 59 is pretty good. Yep. I Whoa, what did they say about Andrew Edwards' gimmick? It's stale. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't wait to find a new gimmick for Andrew Everett. Uh, a actual big dog. <laughs> An actual dog. Apparently, MJF was dreadful in beating down Alex Shelley. Well, you know, he's used to getting beaten down, so he, <laughs> he you know, he punched Shelley and then sold for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all right. I mean, 76 is good. Hmm. Well, hold on. Eva Lee's two... got a 54, and yep. uh, Sasha got a 53, so we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Uh, those jobbers were just not good. They were jobbers. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does this oh, keep happening? I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. I mean, Orange got a 30. Yeah, but... yeah he was the weak link, struggling to keep up with everyone. But that's all right. That's fine. Yeah. This was a fun match. I agree. Bobby Lashley keeps on trucking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodness. Thank goodness he didn't get this during the chicken suit feud. <laughs> we really just keep saving all our best material for Bobby Lashley. How did he get to be so lucky? Can't wait to see what Lashley and Romero ends up being. Uh, Desmond Xavier, he's, he's Al. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. I mean, he's still not getting an 80 like he did with Chuck Taylor. I don't know what that was about. 
Well, that would have been an event. This is a TV. They probably are better than book at booking than I am. You know. Well, maybe it's a thing where it's like the Evolve fans are more like interested in technical wrestling or some shit. Ooh, yeah, probably. That's yeah. actually legitimate. Yes. Yeah. Are there any UK-based wrestlers you guys enjoy besides obvious ones? Uh, not really. Like, what do you define as obvious? I'm assuming he means you know like the big dogs, CCK, Saber, Osprey. Scroll? Is that Scroll. an obvious one? Yes, it, uh, probably one of the most obvious ones. I liked Devlin or Finn Balor Light. I don't know, he's from Ireland, but okay. Did they say British or UK? Uh, he said UK. Yeah, that, they, oh, he's from Ireland. Nope, not, nope, so, not nope. Yep, yep, okay, yep. Good. Not British Ireland. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to save you. I, I kept, I was like, mm, no, no. Mm. Uh, anyway, this went well. <laughs> yeah, I guess no. No, there's not. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that did good. Did did he even so this wasn't even like did he even talk about anybody or was it just the sting nope, talking? Just sting talking. I believe this was Sting running down Hulk Hogan for five minutes and then announcing a triple threat X Division match. Alright. Holy crap. What Joey is such an enigma. And so is Will. Like Will just dropped the ball in the last pay per view versus Rocky. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know if he dropped the ball. We just thought like they were going to get a 70 or something. And they got he like, did. I don't know what they got, he like dropped, a 63 or something. Don't make excuses for Will Ospreay. And... Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, my goodness. I just realized that I can book Pentagon Jr. versus The Rock. <laughs> I mean, you could. I don't know if you should, but you could. This didn't yeah, this was, this was a perfectly good main event. It sure was. How did uh, Becky do? 59. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, She's no Ashley Flair, but... No. No, who is? Yeah. Increased our popularity. Yep. 67. Definitely take that. Well, there is uh, Shark Boy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go on Be Right Back, but I won't actually be away. So. <laughs> okay. I'm telling I'm telling chat that. Okay. So they can't they can't see my Twitch homepage, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll I'll talk to the chat while you're doing this. Hi chat, how's it going? Um this would be a good time for uh questions. Uh yeah, well Nick I'll, I'll talk Nick to the just chat now gets his uh, chat, chat up. So, uh, I guess until now only I've been seeing the questions. But I I've been answering stuff as best I can. I've been doing Nick's job for him. This was an AMA with Swirly. Yeah, no one asked anything, so that that seems about right. Yep. Although but, they're probably like they're probably just now like hearing the thing asking for questions. So stupid Twitch delay. There we go. And we're all back. right. Okay. Oh, you got your first question. How have you been? Um, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, this is a busy time of the year, but I'm fine. Can you tell Nick to hire Eli Everfly? Uh, okay, Nick, he wants you to hire Eli Everfly? I, look, I don't even know if he's in the game. I don't either. Hey, good for you, Joyce Bed. Joyce Boy, Joyce Bed, because I read your, your thing as I was talking to you. Haven't been out of bed since. That, yep, that sounds right. I see no Everfly. I see no Everfly. I'm aware he pinned the Miz, but he doesn't exist. Eli Everfly pinned the Miz? Yeah. Where? On SmackDown, like four weeks ago. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, were they doing like the local jobber gets a win thing? Yeah, right in front of Shane McMahon. Okay. Got okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Shane McMahon watched Eli Everfly pin the Miz. <laughs> okay. Oh, John Ryan's gone. Not Joey. That Joey Ryan just left. Yeah. <laughs> Laredo man's unhappy. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> well, he just won a match. No, I mean, ACH won the yeah, match. Yeah, ACH won the he match. He was on the winning team. Oh, Tam Tam, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was as genuine a reaction as I've ever heard from Nick. Tam is one of my favorites. 
I know. I'm not paying him off again. <laughs> I'm not going to keep giving him money just because he's sad. Uh, Morty, Eli Everfly, or this, I'm using an old version. Like, it doesn't even have, um, what's her name? Penelope Ford. Penelope Ford. Yeah. I feel like we should just, for now on, start off every stream. I'd be like, hey, let's, this is Let's Play 2 uh, 2016 TNA save. Penelope Ford, not in the database. <laughs> let's get to our first episode. <laughs> Apparently, Davy Boy Smith was in DDT's child company. <laughs> <laughs> well, his name is Davy Boy Smith Jr. Yeah. So maybe they thought he was a kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, all Japan signed Nick Jackson. Okay. Oh, Japan's got great. real weird. Look, man, Nick Jackson had that great Swarley Cup title run in the Fire Pro League. He's uh, he's elevated his stock. You know, he's he's the he's Young Buck number one now. Wow. He's put Matt Jackson. Uh, you know, Matt Jackson's got some catching up to do. Well, okay. DDT has a development company. That's actually a good question. They do. They have for a long time. New attitude? Nope, that's fake. Oh, they, okay, they have, that is fake. So they they have a real one called uh, DNA. I think it's called. That is not in the game. So that didn't oh, no, make it D in. But wait, DDT hold on. Made DDT one. new attitude. That's probably DNA. So yes, this checks. Oh, out. that is DNA. Yeah. Uh, they have run such great matches as David Finley defeating a dinosaur uh their show got a 67 which is about what we get so yep not gonna shit on them too hard here ddt's probably getting ridiculous scores then worse than their child company that that is strange oh ddt why are you like this <laughs> do you want to see what new japan did or you want to move on uh let's just move on okay. we we were on time limits and i i we, we got, Chuck Taylor got injured by the way no, Chuck. <laughs> Whoa, Michael Elgin's real name isn't Michael Elgin? Oh, his last name's Froble. I mean, just Michael Elgin is such a plain, boring name that I never thought that it would be some, like, why would you choose that to be in your name? Are you trying to say that Michael Elgin isn't original? <laughs> Ready to go to war with Chikara? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we can take them. Oh, they're not going to war. They just have a hostile view of TNA. Okay, that's fine. Quackabush okay. being like, yeah, you know, if they didn't have The Rock, they wouldn't even be a company. I mean, well, yeah. at least we have The Rock. What does Chikara have? Should we re-sign Davy Richards? It's kind of worked out. Um, I mean, yes, but... But at the same time, we don't really use them, so... He, like, like maybe, bumps our ratings every time we use them, though. Should Maybe we just do them to, like, a pair or appearance contract? Okay. I think that's what we had him on. To be, yeah, we uh, had him on a paper appearance. Yeah, then, yeah, just extend... Then just extend his contract, that's fine. How much? Six months? One year? Uh, a year? Okay. One more year of Davey. Yep. I remember how much we fought to, like, not have Davey on the roster. Because he would show up every time we'd look, and we'd be like, ah, and then we'd have to do something with him and Eddie, and, like, I don't want to do that. Eh, I, I mean, got. yeah. Fandango? Pete Dunn? Oh, that's not WWE. It sure isn't. <laughs> but we get Johnny Curtis. I'm, I am not interested in signing Fandango. Are, are you interested in signing Johnny Curtis? No. Ah, even less than Fandango. Do you remember those weird promos he did on SmackDown where he was like, oh, no use crying over spilt milk, and then he like poured a gallon of milk on his head? Yes. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm glad that wasn't like a fever dream that I just imagined. Uh, didn't he also chloroform someone in NXT? <laughs> A lot. You could tell me didn't blank do blank in NXT, and I'd have to be like, yeah, sure. Like, okay. that, like, last year or two of NXT that no one was watching was, like, the Wild West. I'm pretty sure him and Oksana chloroformed someone. 
No, it was him and uh, oh, what's her face, Carly. What? What was her name in uh, WWE? Oh, maybe they chloroformed Exxon then. What's uh, what's her face in uh, Lucha Underground that um, uh, manages Mil Muertes? Katrina. What was her name in WWE? Ma- was it? Did it start with an M? Maxine. Maxine. It was Maxine. Okay, I yeah. I had it, but then I wasn't confident. <laughs> Ooh, Alex Shelley's muscular now. Him and The Rock. <laughs> trading, trading tips. Sign Regal to be GM. But we got Stang. Yeah, we got Stang. Also, WWE's not going to let us have that. We need a new gimmick for Andrew Everett, though. Oh, that's right. He's no longer a teen idol. <laughs> that was his gimmick? I guess. <laughs> oh, man. This changes <laughs> my entire viewpoint of Andrew Everett. <laughs> what would he be? Uh, do you, do you have it filtered by, you have it filtered by things you can do, right? Yeah. You want me to filter it by face as well? Uh, yeah, probably. Well. Ant. Mount Everett. But what is that gimmick? It's just a good name for him. How is Lazy Slob a baby face gimmick? How is Petty Criminal a baby face? <laughs> uh, well, you know, he maybe he came, you know, he came up poor. You, you, f- you feel sorry for him? I don't know. Oh, you Russian Tiger Bruiser, Mask. Andrew Everett. Can we book him as Tiger Mask and make it a big dog mask? That's a, that's a bad idea. What about Underdog? Yeah, that probably makes sense. Okay. Wholesome. He's pretty wholesome. The underdog, the big underdog, Andrew Everett. And the big underdog. We kind of did just pick, we just kind of just picked a gimmick that had dog in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Goldstraw says he'll turn and have him feud with Braxton. I mean, we have done nothing with the two of them for a long time. I mean, if anyone's turning, it'd be Braxton, right? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, with Everett, it would be, oh, I was out and you were successful. With Braxton, it could be since you came back. I haven't done anything. Yeah, but Braxton is married to Allie. You can't turn Allie heel. I thought that I thought they did. Oh, uh, she, she just. I mean, yeah, they did, but they're stupid. <laughs> we know better than them. We're not going to turn Allie heel. Okay. She's going to come back with a baby, Nick. You want people to boo a baby? Ms. That's not going to happen. Miz make people boo a baby. Also, Miz is divorced. Oh, no. See, it, that's probably what has started. It, Maurice was like, I can't believe you had to boo our baby. <laughs> You're a monster. I can't believe you had Daniel Bryan kick my baby. <laughs> Carl Briscoe. <laughs> <laughs> lesser known briscoe brother uh, <laughs> carl oh what title was won in lucha underground oh title i don't care about are henny's echo and teddy hart Uh, what do we got here? What think, do we got here? I think this is where Keith Lee has to kill Kane, right? Are we just jumping right into that? Wait, how long is he going to chase him? I mean, I mean, like, the first segment of the show? Oh, no, no, no. I meant this show is where we have to do that. Okay. Yeah, no, Kane doesn't fine. need to die in the first segment of the show, no. Yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of, like, let's open with The Rock. Yeah. Also, we didn't close with The Rock last time. What were no, we but thinking? it was fine. So The Rock is here. We open, We closed with our real top star, Ashley Flair. Oh, we did. We didn't put anything after them either. Nope. Can't wait for Ashley Flair versus The Rock. It's going to... I mean, bound for glory, baby. Let's do it. Uh, what... What is The Rock saying? Uh, Ethan Carter, you're a 
you're a rock wannabe, you're a jabron, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to, you know, sacrifice. I'm going to beat you down for the title. And then uh, Ethan Carter and MJF are going to come out and be like, title? Tit- you won a match in TNA. Title? Who said anything about a title match? Uh, and then I guess uh, Alex Shelley comes out and then uh, we, did, we, we set up the tag match. Uh, okay. Did Alex Shelley ever ooh, ooh, get I, no, his... I got, I got a better idea. Yeah, Alex Shelley's going to come out and be like, well, if you don't want to defend the title against Rocket Sacrifice, how about you defend it against me tonight? And then uh, Sting will come out and be like, yeah, that's our main event. Alex Shelley and uh, Ethan Carter, title rematch. Oh, okay. That is not where I was going with that, but okay. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm going with it. How long has it been since we've had a world title match on Impact? Ages. I think like a, a month, but okay. Didn't have a world title match on Impact last month. I'm gonna go look. <laughs> Pretty sure we, we had... did not. Did a we world sh- title match, an Shelley Impact and world title match. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, uh, that... we might have. I don't think we did. Anyway, let... yeah, doesn't matter. Tonight, that's a that's a big old main event right there. Uh, and then what are we, then what match are we going to? Are we doing uh, a number one contender with with Desmond already? Or are sure. we saving that for next week? Ah, uh, we can do that next. That's fine. All right. He just had the doctors being like, "We're not sure when he'll be back." And it's like, "Oh, he's back." Well, it was just an update. We didn't say he was like gone forever. We were just like, uh, you "This know. this really feels like a good place for Laredo, man." But he's so mad about losing. Look, man. This is a good spot for Laredo, man. If he's going to get mad, let him get mad. Wow. Like, who's look, who's down on Laredo, man, now? Well, he's being a dick now. <laughs> this is why like, I, kept I was him trying down. to help him, but then we, we threw him a couple bones and he's still crying about it, so I don't know. He's giving you the side eye. Yeah. So, well, good, good win for Desmond Xavier. Okay. How are we going to build up Rocky Romero and Bobby Lashley? Show your champions, please. Sure thing, Andre. While I'm doing that, Swirly will think of how to how to do Rocky Romero and Bobby Lashley. For Impact Knockouts, we have Kaylee Ray. For our of Knockouts course. tag, we have the Hoss, the Hoss Daughters, the Horse Daughters mm-hmm. of Ashley Flair and Tessa Blanchard. Uh, the Legends title is still held by Sting. <laughs> forgot about that <laughs> of course we we don't really use this title no. we've it's been defended once i believe yeah well no it's never technically been defended joey didn't defend it he lost uh, i guess but well, you know what i mean yeah it... world champion for the fourth time ethan carter uh tag champs are star wards of eddie edwards and david star Please don't leave the chat for that joke. And X Division is ACH. Also, for the record, it's uh like April 2019 or something. Also, we have the Rock. Also, we have the Rock. Um, so don't don't worry about how he decided he wanted to wrestle again and decided he wanted to wrestle in TNA. Uh, we did. We gave him a lot of money. We did. Um, do you want to do uh, go into a promo with uh, Rebecca Knox and Kaylee Ray? Sure. Are they just are they just being mean to each other? Like ah, basically, just okay. good old good old. This we're gonna. So again, this is a in this universe, the man stuff kind of never happened. Um, so may, we're just gonna invent it now. She's just gonna come out and start doing that shtick. Oh, okay. Ray's gonna be like, "How dare you? Do you do you know who I am?" <laughs> oh no, Kaylee Ray Dudley, <laughs> Bully Ray, Bully Ray. <laughs> God, that, that's your heel gimmick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm just imagining her wrestling exactly the same, but like now she's wearing a beanie. Yep. 
like cargo shorts. All oh, right. Oh God! Pull it together. Pull it together. Ah, uh, what uh, is let, Rocky Romero's gimmick? I don't look. We're forget that. We're gonna have another tag match with uh, Sasha and uh, Ivelisse. This time versus two established. Or do you want to see who? Yes, versus in two real people this time. Okay. Ramping it up a little bit. Yep. All right, Sasha, Ivelisse, uh, I believe it was Madison Eagles and Mia Yim. Yeah, that's those are two heels. And Ivelisse won last time, so I'll give Sasha the win this time. Two grown men giggling over wrestling gimmicks. Look, we do this for a reason. I it would fun. say it was it was less giggling and more full on guffawing. Honestly, I, I laughed pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I did too. If you can't guffaw as an old man, then you know yeah. what do you oh, mean? Old man, doing? let's calm down. Grown man. <laughs> Thank you. I've hit old. It's fine. <laughs> I've ticked over thirty. Uh. Uh, I I would like. Lashley to fight someone and then Rocky Romero to attack him. Oh, we got no. See, that's too plain for Bobby Lashley. Well, that's the so that was how I was going to do this story of Rocky Romero just coming in and being like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> no, Nick, Nick, I have the perfect idea. Yes, Bobby Lashley's gonna. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna plainly state it. Rocky Romero is going to steal Bobby Lashley's hand truck. I can't allow this. <laughs> Why not? Because he's... <sighs> he's a heel. He's going to steal his hand he's truck. He's a heel. <laughs> he's a heel. <laughs> God damn, he's going to get some heat. Steal the goddamn hand truck. That's wrestling. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. If he can steal the the hand truck, distracting Bobby Lashley, causing him to lose. He doesn't even have to distract him, cause him to lose. He could just like come out during the match and steal it. And then after the match, Bobby Lashley's like, "Where's my hand truck?" Okay, is he spray painting the hand truck with a bunch of like Rapungi esque? Oh, I think next yeah next week he like destroys it or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Put it in a chicken suit. <laughs> this is just the the women's tag feud. But with a hand truck instead of anime now. Uh, <laughs> who's Bobby Lashley take? Who's Bobby Lashley gonna fight? Brody Lee. Brody Lee. All right, and Lashley still gets the win. Yes. But a hand truck is stolen. We'll still put the yes. distraction in. How about that? Well, why don't we just put that as the segment after this of, like, Rocky Romero steals the hand truck or something. Like, he can do it while actually celebrating or something. Sure. Also, yes, I am I am saying that Bobby Lashley has been carrying this hand truck with him everywhere <laughs> the last couple of weeks. Well, that's how he's been doing the, the keep on trucking gimmick. Yeah, keep on trucking, exactly. And how is he going to keep on trucking if there's no hand truck? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Tag feud. Mm-hmm. Uh, they yelled at each other last week. They sure did. CCK got a win last week. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? I... So I mean, again, we already did the thing where they do a bunch of draws, and that led to the triple threat in the first place. So I feel like we can't do that. I kind of feel like Sting should just be like, "Hey, let's have a ladder match." How's CCK getting in that? I mean, they did win last week. They want it. Well, like, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they can they, beat the Lucha Bros. Yeah, I think. I think. We get a couple of warm up matches, and next week's warm up match will be Lucha Brothers versus CCK. And that'll end up being CCK getting a win and being like, well, wait a minute, why aren't we in the match now? I like it. I'm doing it. Remember when Brody Lee was in the main event title scene? 
Uh, that lasted like a month. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Brody Lee got a title shot and it went poorly. And we were just like, well, let's put you in a tag team, big guy. Uh, Sting announces a ladder match. Also, hi, J-Ball. Oh. J-Ball was the same color as like half the other people in the chat. So I didn't recognize yeah, someone. It's else. weird. Good call. Good call out. So I guess uh, Star Wars can get a warm up match as well versus anyone. New Wait, moves. so what? Why are they all having warm up matches? I don't know. Sting's booking them in warm up matches. It's what authority figures do, right? Okay, but like he's he's booked. He's said that all three teams are in the ladder match. Two teams are in the ladder match right now. Okay, Star Wars, Lucha. Oh, so what you're saying is like next week they win their warm up match against. Yeah, the warm-up match is Lucha versus CCK as a warm-up match, but okay. CCK wins. And okay. then CCK is like, well, we're in the match now, right? Yeah, 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 that works. Yeah. Do we want to just throw them against the Wolves? Are we going to book that later? I mean, oh, we shit, could. maybe. I mean, Eddie and Davey, yeah, right? Yeah, Eddie and Davey, sorry. Yeah. It didn't click. Oh, boy. Who are the faces? Oh. Big Brax. There you go. Getting to... We get to see, see our new gimmick. New underdog, big dog, Andrew Everett. Uh, David Starr, another win here. Yeah, David Starr could do some wins for sure. Nah, it's not a title match. Calm down. Calm down, Andrew. And that makes sense because they used to be the tag holders, so like that's still a yeah, big, that's a, big match. Yeah, that's a big match. Speaking of big match... Big match, main event, impact title. Big match, Alex. Alex Shelley taking on EC3. Are you ready for a 1990s ass finish to this match? Uh, yeah. Uh, Alex Shelley hits his finish, is about to pinning. EC3 is about to win. MJF breaks up the pin. And it's Alex nice. Shelley wins by disqualification. Okay. It's great, though, actually. Mm-hmm. All right, so having to make it a DQ finish. How long was Shelly Champ for? Uh, about three or four months. Yeah, not too, too long. He had, a, he had a good little rain. I don't know if I would call this a dusty finish. No, this is not a dusty finish. Because it's we're not restarting. If Sting came out and restarted the match, and then Ethan Carter won no, it doesn't anyway. finish. Isn't even restarting the match. It's it's like overruling the referee's decision. I guess yeah. Also, we, I mean, we have to have a post match angle where The Rock comes out, and this is storytelling, by the way. That's fine. They should be able to tell a story, bro. What's The Rock doing? Uh, beating up MJF, just MJF. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, you know what? I, yeah, just MJF. Just fuck that guy in particular. We have now booked an angle where The Rock beats up MJF. Mm -hmm. Do we get The Rock Bottom on free TV or no? Yeah, he can give Rock Bottom. That's fine. Give, give him. I mean, th you made this six minutes. I don't know what he's doing for six minutes of not giving him a Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom, people's elbow. Yeah, the, yeah, if he does the people's elbow, that takes up three of the six minutes, so All that's right. going to help us out. All right, good. Two main events. CCK is in booked. Okay. Neither is Phoenix and Pentagon. Okay. Sounds like a pre-match, six, pre-show, eight-man tag. Is is Ashley on the show? Oh, fuck. She ain't. Can I'll put Ashley on commentary? For I was this? just going to say, let's put Ashley on commentary. I don't think she'll do well. I think she'll do fine, Nick. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> yeah, you want to go through all three people of this uh, commentary team? <laughs> <clears throat> hey, y'all. Brick South Carolina here. We got a very special guest third commentator for this next match. Oh, that is right, Brick South Carolina. It is the current... What half of the knockouts tag team champions, Ashley Flair? Thank you, Ultra Mantis. It's great to be here. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. 
Now, uh, Ashley, some people say you don't deserve to be a uh, knockout tag team champion after Rebecca Knox interfered at uh, <laughs> whatever the last pay per view was. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous, Rick South Catalan. <laughs> Ashley Flair is a wonderful competitor. <laughs> what was our last pay per view? Uh, against all odds? I don't know. It's not important. Sacrifice you know, we could rename name. all these dumb pay per views. We did. Although our our names would be equally dumb, so I guess we named matter. one to Joey Janela's summer vacation. That's right, we did do that. Uh, so we have so the the Luchas and the CCKs are opposite sides. Yep, we'll throw Will Osprey in there. Maybe sure. Will Osprey and ACH. This is a weird match. Honorary Luchador. Uh, and then. CCK and their good friends. Joey Janela and Jake Hager. Shane Strickland. Keith Lee didn't murder Kane on this show. No, that was the one thing we were going to book. I'm going to let the game decide. All right. No, no, Shane Strickland is in that match. He's losing. Okay, fine. Who wins? Uh... ACH, he's the exhibition champion. Yeah. All right. Where can we cut? Oh, uh, do do we have no time? Yeah, but this doesn't need to be that long. No, no, it doesn't. All right, we now have seven minutes. All right, that's plenty of time for him to murder Kane. Okay. Do you have any context for this, or is it just Keith Lee finds Kane in the back and just murders him for seven minutes? Uh, so I was thinking more of, like, uh, Glenn Jacobs and Hager are, like... Oh, I, I have one. I have okay, one. Go ahead. Hagrag. <laughs> All right. Jake Hager is going to start talking about the miscarriage of justice versus The Rock. Mm -hmm. Still carrying on about that. In fact... Yeah. Okay. Glenn that's, Jacobs. That's good. That's 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 some that's some good cheating right there. Yep. Glenn Jacobs is also talking about him, and then Keith Lee just storms the set. Uh, Hager runs off, but Glenn Jacobs takes the uh, spirit bomb through the table. Mm -hmm. like announced the desk. The shitty. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, announced like desk. Particle board, like their shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, not even IKEA, like knockoff IKEA desk. Oh, he puts them through like the hag rag sign too. Yeah, like just destroys the set. Keith Lee not only kills Kane but kills the hag rag. See, I would like to think that not just was he talking about the Rock, but then Glenn Jacobs is also like, also, uh, a certain Mister Keith Lee is very upset with me. But we're gonna take a look at the footage here and see. Like, I had nothing to do with this, and it shows him injuring Keith Lee, and he's like, "Nope, see, he's fine. Fake news." Uh, if he was so injured, why is he busting through walls last week? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he, uh, yeah, murders him. Can he somehow bust through a wall again? Uh, there's like a backsplash that they use. And oh, he that's, can bust that's through a good the backsplash. Point. Yeah, he can bust through that. Bust through the green screen. Right Not as impressive Rocky. as a wall, but whatever. No, but still. Yeah. Hey, it's <laughs> right, kind of more Right impressive. after Rocky Romero steals the hand truck. What yeah. a... Oh, that's a great uh, 10 minutes of show right there. It sure is. This is a weird-ass show. It's going to do great. To it. It's going to do great. I can't wait. This was a real good uh, dark match. Yeah, I mean, everyone in it but Shane Strickland is people, are people we use constantly. Yeah, that's true. Even Joey, who's having an off month, like not being in a storyline, is almost always in a storyline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Rock. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Laredo, Laredo Man was the correct choice. Yes. This went well. Yeah, it's good. I would also have to imagine that feud at some point. Uh, Becky's just like, also, Scotland sucks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> can, yeah, that's going to be the real impetus of this feud. 
that's like the the week four promo. Yeah, oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah. like all the, the, the all the workers from the back are holding them apart. Um This was good. Yeah, this did very well. This things come okay. out and announce things every week. Yep, well that's what he's here for. It is. It's his job. Okay. <laughs> is Lashley just using the KO now? Uh, he's we we did just do a whole storyline where like where we emphasize how much of an MMA fighter he was, so yeah. that makes sense. And then Rocky Romero stole his <laughs> hand truck. He looks like someone that would steal a hand truck. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's pointing at the hand truck he stole. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh uh, fuck. That has to be the bump from talking about The Rock, though, right? Like, yeah, that's, that's what. Okay, yeah. Still, though, I'll take it. Jake Hager's going to talk about The Rock until he's no longer in this company. <laughs> and then he'll do the indies and talk about The Rock. Yeah, he's like, I had that one match with The Rock once. Oh. Whoo, man. Eddie Edwards is up to an 80 again. Star, Star Wars is so good. Yeah, remember but- when David Starr was like Tracy Williams? Yeah, I was just doing nothing for like three months. Yeah. That's what we keep telling Tracy Williams. It's being like, no, yeah. it'll, it'll come. Just, yeah, we'll find your Eddie Edwards. We'll find your Eddie Edwards. They might never lose the titles. Oh, right. New gimmick for the big dog. Average. That's fine. A little disappointed, but. Yeah, that's all right. Huh. Maybe the finish. No, I'm a 65 was about what I would expect from these two. How about this? How about this? Is this what you would expect? I mean, no, because MJF was in it. <laughs> and rated. Yeah. I mean, I guess we did only rate him on selling, but still. Well, that's what this is. MJF got beat up and Not it was, real. and the crowd fucking loved it. I'm just saying, you could sell. Yep. Feed MJF to the rock every show. I mean, we might. And then MJF becomes our most important worker. Yeah, that's that might be our best show, like our best TV show. I think we had another one that was a seventy-two, but so the game will probably just you know, the game has some like extra decimal points, and they'll know which one is the real higher score, the real better show. Yeah, but that show had The Rock beating up MJF, so that's that's the real number one. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Fans would go nuts for that ending. The Rock coming out and beating up half the heel team. Oh no. Netflix is suing us? <sighs> what? Why? Alright, we got Davey back at least. Okay. Oh, what do you think The Rock's opinion is? MJF is uh, great. I love MJF. I want to beat him up every week. I like hearing Joey Janela talk. We're trying. Yeah. I mean, I guess to be fair, we don't have Joey talk that much. He mostly wrestles. Can we get a Joey Janela rock feud? No. Not anytime soon, anyway. So what's what? Why are we being sued? Let's see. Uh, I think we ended our contract with Netflix. Okay. And they're suing us because we breached the contract? We didn't breach the contract. We just didn't renew it. I think because we, we promised uh, so many shows and we didn't deliver. Oh. Uh, because we were just doing them on cable vision the last couple of yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah. So, But we could have been doing them on both, right? No, you can only do one or the other. Oh. So, like, I don't know, Netflix. So, so cable- we absolutely breached contract then. Well, we technically had the contract with Cablevision first, so, like, our lawyers were just bad. Okay. We had lol TNA lawyers. Nick, is this going to fuck us out of getting a better TV deal again? Oh, it better fucking not. It it does. Hold on. Where can we go? We'll negotiate, yes. Well, they're still mad about us about the fucking whatever Japanese TV thing we didn't renew. Are they? Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Still mad about Nippon TV. Mm. 
But it doesn't say they're mad about Netflix. But that might just be because the Nippon... Like, before they were mad about us at Nippon TV, they were mad about us about another one. And then when that other one finally passed, they were mad about us about Nippon TV. So but Nippon, we canceled, right? I don't know. Yeah, we actually canceled that. Netflix, we let expire. I think... I think we're okay. We better be. Where's Terror? Where is Terror? He showed up on Wednesday last week, and I yelled at him for not being in on Monday to answer questions for me. Yeah, how dare he? And then I didn't remember what questions I had. Oh, Colt Cabana feud. Oh, with Christopher Daniels. That, what that, year is it? That, I guess that sounds like... ROH. Oh, also the Briscoes versus Kazarian and Jay Lethal. What year is it? And Beretta versus Cody. Uh, that I mean that sounds like 2018. Yeah. 2019, well, 2019, I guess. Yeah. yeah. 2018, 2017, 2019. Oh no. Vince McMahon had a drug overdose. Oh, Jesus. Shane McMahon took over. So are things going to about are things about to get real wacky? I think things might be about to get real wacky. You know, right. wackier than us having the rock in WWE getting rid of all of its women. All right, let's see what happens. See, this could go real good and they could start doing weird stuff and cutting people or it could go real bad and they could be like, oh, they, they're they looking for different kinds of people now and like start signing a lot of people or something. Or we could just become the head booker of WWE. <laughs> wow, what a, what a like start shift that would be in this series if it was just, we just took that position and then, you know, next stream, hey, welcome to Let's Play 2 with WWE. Yeah. May 2019. What the fuck is this roster? Yeah, we're Shane McMahon now. I think we'd be working for Shane McMahon. Yeah, I guess that's true. We would be working for Shane McMahon. But I don't know. I guess RIP Vince. Yeah. I didn't think... I. You know, I never thought it'd be drugs. Never thought it'd be drugs. I thought, I thought if Vince was going to go out, it'd be... Uh, I don't know. Something real over the top. A fucking like a, speedboat accident like his, or something. His limo exploding. Yes, exactly like his limo exploding. Oh, Adam Cole got signed up or called oh, up. Great. Shane, Shane's first thing he did. Yeah. Give me Adam Cole. Get me Adam Cole. I guess he didn't bring up the rest of Undisputed Era. Oh, we would have to bring Brick South Carolina with us. And Ultramantis Black calling WWE. Tracy Williams is now a Japanese junior. Okay. That could be a good thing. Do we have another Japanese junior? We just make yeah, a Japanese like junior team? Eddie, Davey. Yeah. Like, those guys are all... Ja I mean, I don't know what the game says they are, but to me, I would consider all those guys Japanese junior style. That looks photoshopped. <laughs> it does. So what do you think this new WWE is going to be? The same. I can't even imagine what Ultramantis Black calling WWE would sound like. I mean, he's been calling our show every week, and our show is pretty WWE, so... Yeah, it's pretty close. Is Shane going on a hiring spree? It doesn't look like it. I sure hope not. Yeah, I mean, there's been nothing in the news. And then it's just like, Shane signs uh, Chuck Taylor to... <laughs> exclusive 10-year <laughs> contract. Exclusive 10-year main roster only contract. He's already called up two guys. He's probably about to sign two guys. So, I mean, two's not a lot. That also depends on if Shane has a, a large roster or small roster, like, preference. Oh, Connor's available. Connor! And they switched Kurt Hawkins and Scott Dawson to around. 
Oh boy, Shane making moves already. Yeah. I can't wait till next year when we have the Vince McMahon Memorial Show. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Mid-Atlantic, eh, Great Lakes, eh. okay, not Puerto Rico, anything Puerto Rico? I was just about to ask, do you want to bite the bullet and do a show in Puerto Rico? No. Okay. Never Thought I'd ask. bite that bullet. All right. Swarley. Nick. We have an incident. Let's let's look at that okay. first. All right. How much do I have to convince you? Oh boy. Please be good. Oh no. Oh, she brought a puppy. Oh. All right, Kaylee Ray. Oh. You, you can keep the title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a good girl. This is what this is what she does. Yeah. We're like, oh, we'll probably move the title off or at slam reverse, and she's like, but what about this dog? <laughs> yeah. You're going to take food out of this puppy's bowl. Oh, I would never do that. <laughs> so. How would. How, how can I convince you. To allow The Rock and MJF to main event this show. No, The Rock doesn't wrestle on TV. God damn it. Okay, fine. You got to pay to see The Rock. That's fucking booking 101. Come on. Not happening. All right. Jesus, Raven. <laughs> How are we opening this show? Rock calling Ethan Carter a coward for running away? Yes. Okay. Ethan Carter yelling at The Rock? I just want The Rock to beat up MJF again. Uh, no, I just want them to yell at each other. The Rock could say that he's a coward. No, he's a chicken. Oh yeah! And Ethan comes out and is like, "I'm not a chicken. <laughs> I've been through this once before. And I will not do it again." That is that's a good opening segment. I don't know how it parlays into the main event, but I was, oh, we gotta have we gotta have Shelly involved in this because we do, do we, we have not yet made the tag match official. Oh, okay. So uh, Shelly can come out. I don't know what he's doing here or what he's yelling about. Oh. I was he, he had the title just, one. Yeah. Maybe he should start off the show then. Yeah, probably. Alright. But it ends with all three of them kind of yelling at yelling at each other. Mm-hmm. And then Sting can come out and book that, that tag match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Rock and Alex Shelley versus Ethan Carter and MJF whenever he recovers. Yeah. You also know this is going to be one of those segments where he's like, all right, well, then let's have a tag team match. And the crowd's going to be like, yay! And then he's going to go, at sacrifice! And they're going to go, boo! Stig just turns and is like, The Rock's not wrestling on free TV. Come on, guys. Look, <laughs> look me and Nick tried, but me and Mr. Smarley <laughs> said The Rock wrestles on pay-per-view. Uh, all right. Does Desmond Xavier have any friends? I mean, Zachary Wentz, but we we don't have him. Uh, in our company, no, he has no friends. All right, so a tag match would be a little weird. Oh, he could find a friend. Uh, maybe next week they can do okay. that tag match. I would like to do an angle with them, so we'll have to move on to something else. All right, opening match. Let's see. Let's... Oh, Keith Lee back in uh, official in-ring action? Yeah. Yeah. Keith Lee killing somebody? Well, it could even be a competitive match if we want to get someone, like, if we want to get a decent grade out of this, but let's see what we got. Oh, I don't want it to be Joey Janela. I also don't want it to be Joey Janela. Brody Lee. (laughs) Brody Lee. Well, look at the bright side, Brody. You're getting onto the main card, at least. That is true. So he doesn't kill him, but it's a pretty, yeah. pretty decisive. It's a pretty, pretty decisive victory here for Keith the Real Lee Lee. Did we do this feud? We did this feud, right? 
I don't think we did. I, I think we talked about it and then never actually did it. Yeah, they fought at a pay per view. Uh, well, I mean, they had a match at a pay per view, so not exactly. A I super think they fought over the namely. I think they did. I think Brody and Trevor need to drop their last name now. Uh, yeah, Keith Lee is Keith Lee going to talk after the match? No, oh, he's going to get attacked by Jake Hager. Oh, how dare oh, you? Yeah. Glenn head. Jacobs is a respected man. He's a politician, and now he's yeah. Now he can't. Oh, Nick, I just had the best idea. What? Instead of having him come out and beat up Keith Lee, remember how we had The Rock get arrested? Are you gonna have Keith Lee get arrested? No, Glenn Jake uh, Jake Hager's gonna come out and be like, "You last week you <laughs> beat up a public official. How dare you? Uh, uh, arrest this man!" And then like nothing's gonna come out. And then he's like, he's gonna try to get Keith Lee arrested, but uh, Jake Hager is an incompetent buffoon, and like, I, I, I guess I didn't fill the papers out right or something. And then he he can't arrest him. Just cuts to the back, and Keith Lee's already beat up all the cops. No, no, no. It's just, this is just uh, Jake Hager being incompetent. Okay. I honestly thought you were going when you were like, remember when uh, the Rock ha- was arrested? I thought you were gonna have the Rock backstage just beating up the cops. Like, oh, you think you're gonna arrest the Rock again? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be real weird to set up this Jake Hacker. I know. <laughs> Just get the rock in as many uh, things as we can. J Ball says we picked Brody to win. Oh, okay. I'll go fix. Oh, we got all our international viewers in here tonight, Nick. We we got the UK. Now we got uh, Chile. Chile. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, what is it? Nighttime. Uh, what is no chance? I think I think that's it. Uh, it's late. It's either very late or very early. <laughs> yeah. No, Chile. Chile's on the same time zone. Like same part of the world as us. I definitely did select Brody Lee. Oh, good, good eye, J Ball. Good eye. That would have been some cheating that we had to go back and do. Uh, you want to do a uh, women's match here? Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Uh, you want to do the final Martinez Eva Lee match? I guess. Okay. And then I guess at that point they would be cutting a promo of like, uh, we're we deserve a title shot," and then you know Ashley and Tessa could come out and be like, "You think you deserve a title shot? Who are they beating here? Uh, who's left? Anna Baszler. Oh, they could beat other baby faces. Yep. Do we do we wanna do we wanna do that? I mean, it's that or like Candice and Candice and Lufisto. Lufisto. And like, I feel like beating anime means more. Yeah, I mean, they're not booked on the pay per view, so they yep. might as well use them. Might as well use them. Yeah, they'll they'll have plenty of things to do soon. Sasha Martinez can. I am Stiff Mercedes Moon. I am having her Sasha name. Martinez pin Mercedes Moon if possible. <laughs> that should be fine. Sasha Martinez is pretty over. Yep, and Mercedes is a good sister. Yep. And then we get our post match promo where they ask for a title shot, and then yep. the horse daughters are like, Who you we don't even know who you are, kind of thing. Oh, we're gonna let Sasha and and or we're gonna ha- let Mercedes and Eva Lee talk. I mean, they gotta look, man. It's pro wrestling. They gotta talk eventually. Yeah, you're not wrong. And in nay, hmm. Raven. Do Sasha and Eva have a name? Uh, not really. Okay. Chat, think of a name for Sasha and Eva Lee. Don't be weird. <laughs> uh, you know, by saying that, you have basically, like, one hundred percent confirmed that we will get nothing but weird names. So the horse daughter is basically big leakum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we know what Sting's announcing next week. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> boy. Um, I do not trust Ivelisse without a script. Okay, Ivelisse. So I guess she's not there. talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is this has now become uh, Sasha Martinez and Ashley Flair just talking to each other. I guess Sasha did get the win. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Lashley is probably mad. Rocky Romero. Let's just book this now. Rocky yeah. Romero has spray painted the no, shit. No, no, no. Yeah, no, this is... Okay, this is the thing I have in my mind. Bobby Lashley comes out and he's like, Rocky Romero, how dare you steal that hand drug? You, that means every. How do you know what that means to me? Come out here right now and return my hand truck. And Come then, out like here Rocky, right now, I'll show you the meaning of keep on trucking. <laughs> there you go. And then Rocky shows up on the uh, like on the big screen, like back in the parking lot, and he's like, "Oh, hey, Bobby. Oh, uh, you, you looking for this? Oh, yeah. Here, let me. Uh, why don't you come back here and get it? And then like Bobby leaves and he's going to the back. And as that's happening, Rocky like jumps in a van and runs over the hand truck. Gee, I feel like that would break the van. Ah, hand trucks aren't that heavy. That's be fine. All right. Does this end with like Lashley kneeling over the destroyed? <laughs> yes, truck? of course. As Rocky Romero speeds away in his van. Oh God. Can Lashley ever have? <laughs> A feud that's not this? <laughs> no. No, he cannot. Oh, real question. What gimmicks do they have? I think uh, like a quality a, fighter yeah. and badass or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. Basically, they are Ivelisse and Mercedes Martinez. Yeah, basically. There's no wacky gimmicks here. Yep. Oh, boy. I can't believe... I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> we got to book CCK and, and the Lucha Brothers. Yes, yes, we do. Which I feel like we've done a bunch. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. It's been long enough, I hope. Ah, it hasn't been long enough. Back. Okay. 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 Um. Do we just add another team into this? That would be a weird thing to do for a warm-up match. Yeah, really warm them up. Uh. I'm thinking we either do a singles match between, well, you know, one of these guys on each team. Okay. Or we turn it into like a six or eight man tag. I mean, turning it into a six man tag and then having CCK win kind of cheapens it a little bit. What if we did Star Wars and Desmond Xavier and yeah. CCK? That's five people. It is. Okay. And then they would be against. The Lucha Brothers, ACH, Will Ospreay, and a fifth person. A person to be named later. Yes. Okay. All right. Killing, me... killing uh, a lot of birds with one stone here. Yeah. Osprey, uh, ACH, who's already there. And a fifth person a fifth person laredo oh. man uh, i guess i guess it's laredo man he's he's in there with his lucha friends that makes sense they're gonna do a good lucha thing yes and then cck pins the lucha brothers yep also this match should rule it really should. Is, is that, that our main event? Is that our main event? <laughs> I think that's our main event. All right, let me give it a little more time. Because, like, what's what's going to top that? Uh, we need to do something with our women again. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think this is the, the week where uh, we have Becky go back and tell her that Scotland sucks and they have, like, a pull-apart brawl. 
Okay. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a match. Oh. I mean, I kind of want to save her first match for the pay-per-view. Becky's? Although we did have her wrestle at six-man tag, so I guess yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, let's, give, let's have Becky beat somebody. Okay. Did Ashley wrestle on this show? This show? No, she just belittled the Eva Lee. <laughs> Does, does uh, Katie Sasha Ray have a friend? Uh, not really. You know who's everyone's friend? Who's everyone's Kyrie friend? Hojo. Kyrie. She's very friendly. Uh, that's but true. That that's the other option is the, the I don't I don't like I don't okay. like that. Let's just have her win a match. Becky. Be- perhaps uh, she, Perhaps she's just beating Kyrie Hojo. Or or Lufisto. Lufisto is probably a better choice. Did we already book Lufisto? No, we did not. I also feel bad about Lufisto losing all these matches, but I know. But someone's got to lose. Someone's got to lose. Kyrie's got to eventually win some matches too. Yeah. Also, also, like she's she's thirty nine, so I'm a little worried she's going to start declining soon. Yes. That should actually be good. It should. What else we got? Oh, uh, much, we, actually. We got to close the show out with The Rock, right? What? It, how are we closing the show with The Rock? Beating up MJF again? MJF wasn't even in the final match. Exactly. We just go backstage and The Rock is throwing MJF around? I mean, I was just thinking something of, like, MJF, uh, like, limping around. Well, no, because if he keeps murdering him every week, then it's not going to make for a very exciting tag match. What if MJF gets his revenge on The Rock? All right. Hold on. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, he no, would have no, to be, No, 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 like, no, no. The Rock like, doesn't lay down for no MJF. I mean, I, I was going to say, like, MJF and Ethan with, like, lead pipes or something. Like, he's obviously, he's not just going to beat up The Rock. Okay. All right. Why am I why am I rating him? I mean, I guess they should also beat up Shelly because it'd be weird if Shelly just wasn't there. I was like, "Oh yeah, the rock got killed, whatever." Shelly could chase him off. But if they have lead pipes, why would they run away? <laughs> Shelly has two lead pipes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gun. <laughs> okay. Now the heels get the heels get the win here. Mm-hmm. In fact, not the rock. The rock is not successful. Success for the heels. Yeah. We got a minute. What do we okay. got? Um, I guess I could still do the angle that I wanted to do. And what was that? I wanted to do a Desmond Xavier promo because those usually do well anyway. On the t- hey, why don't we have Joey Janela cut a promo? Everyone keeps sending us emails that Joey can talk. Just send Joey out there to like, here's here's the mic, kid. Show us what you got. Put yourself over. Uh, what one is, one is, might say this is a test. Joey's gotten so many goddamn tests. <laughs> Let's give him some time too. Yep. Ooh, MJF baits the Rock and then EC3 sneak attacks him. That's yeah, that that's what's happening for sure. <laughs> that was that was that was my like... idea. Definitely didn't read in the chat from uh, J Ball for sure. MJF just ooh, I'm an MJF. Come beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to think it's him all bandaged up, being like, "Oh, I'm so hurt and defenseless right now." 
I hope a big, <laughs> big mean muscular man doesn't come beat me up. <laughs> Just laying on the ground like, oh, I set these ropes up around me. Hope no one does a people's elbow on me. <laughs> um. All right, I think. Oh, uh, what's our storytelling match? Yeah. I think I'm just going to have Braxton Sutter beat Shane Strickland in the, the pre-show. Okay. If I make that the story... Oh, jeez. If I make that the storytelling match, does it count? That's a good question. I don't know. Because, like, I don't really think any of the actual matches... Ah, uh, one of the women's matches could be a storytelling match. Uh, Becky and Lufisto? Yeah, it could be. Okay. Yeah. That should also be lower on the card than the other one, I think. What's the other one? The tag match? Yeah. Mm. We'll see if I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. Do you think I'm wrong enough to, to want me to change it? I I, I think Becky and uh, Lufista right. will be better. All right. I moved it up. All right. I did it. Don't let me down, Lefisto. Oh, I can't believe I. I feel very ashamed right now. Why? This is gonna be a great show. We haven't used Dan Barry at all. Straight. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he was supposed to uh, like be looking into MJF's wealth or something, and then MJF became a main eventer. Yep. And Dan and Barry like, oh, is no. still Dan Barry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no time for Dan Barry anymore. I think Dan Barry private investigator gimmick might need to go away, and Dan Barry yeah. might need a new fun gimmick. I will. I will think. Gosh, Shane Strickland. I know. Swarley. We had high hopes. What happened? He's just not as good in the game as we thought he would be. That's all. This is pretty much the same opening promo we've done every episode. Yeah, we just dropped it MJF from it. Mm -hmm. because he's too injured, which will play into what happens later. Exactly, yeah, there you go. But that's how we planned it the whole time. Keith Lee and Brody Lee have great, great chemistry. All right, well, I guess we should have been having him put over Keith Lee more often, but yes. this will do. Good old, good old Haas oh, match here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Hager just being a dummy. I forgot. I, I forgot we booked this. It was five minutes ago. I already forgot. <laughs> oh, one. Holy smokes! So what about the Joey this? Janela Rock feud? What? Wow, we've been, we've just been booking Joey Janela wrong the whole time. We I are no, because we had him cut promos when he. That's was true, and because when yeah, when he was running the show, he was definitely talking. Yeah, Joey. Hmm. This is this is an interesting development. Maybe maybe we have a miscast in the X division. Maybe we need to put Joey into the like, you know, the heavyweight division where people talk more. Yeah. Wow. Well, he finally passed the test. Yeah. Okay, this got a sixty-one, so I'm now a little nervous that I I switched him. But yeah, uh, we'll I think you were underestimating uh, Moon and Gonzalez. I mean, they got a 56 and a 54. Or no, that was uh, Sasha and well, whatever. This was fine. Yep. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I mean, it's okay. not. It's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. I was wrong. This, I'm a though. big. <laughs> this I was right about. This, I will, <laughs> I will go to my grave <laughs> claiming that this was a great idea for a feud. I don't care what anyone says. Yep, Rocky Romero looks like a man who would steal a hand truck. Bobby yep. Lashley looks like a man who would own a hand truck. <laughs> it all adds up. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was good. Uh, all of the workers here are great. And Eddie Edwards got a 72 on this as well. How did he, how did he get an 80 that one match, though? Like that That was much higher than he's ever done before. Uh, less time, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe it was because that was a straight-up tag, and him and Star have good chemistry. 
Oh, Joey being someone's manager. We've already had him be the general manager. Lashley. <laughs> Lashley. Lashley. Hey, Joey's a heel. You'd have to flip. Uh, yeah. I wonder he can if Joey man. could also steal hand trucks. <laughs> he can manage Dan Barry. I was thinking of him teaming with Romero. But this That'd did, be... this did well. This is well. This is basically the same as our opening segment. Yeah, now he could be a specific manager instead of a general manager. A lieutenant manager. Nice. Nice. All right, real talk. What are we doing with Joey Janela? I don't know. We should... I mean, nothing immediately, but... He should have a match at the... At Slammiversary. If he's gonna Nick, get... have, you, uh, have you learned nothing from what we just found out? Who cares if he has a match? He should be talking. Well, he he could hype up the match a lot by doing that. Okay, so who's he feuding with? He's a heel. Mm-hmm. He's a heel! <laughs> what are we doing with Star Wars at Slammiversary? I do not know. Um, but we've already done the tag team thing with Joey. We're not doing a Joey London. tag. That's not where I'm okay. going with this. Uh, do we? Did you want to do New Wolves in them, or would that be New Wolves we in Star Wars? Could, but it'd be it, rushing in a little bit. Yeah, it wouldn't be my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess we could do Lucha and Star Wars again. Hmm. Long story short, I want to do Pentagon and Joey. Just have them cut promos on each other? Yep, and then murder each other in, in matches that aren't rated on hardcore, but it was just them. In canon, it was yeah. a hardcore match? Right, right. Yeah. Light tubes and all that shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's like a slam anniversary match. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I want them if, to do if it. If we're though. trying to put like slam anniversary as a big show. Well, anything now would be rushed for Joey. Yeah, that's what well, I'm saying. Well, six weeks to build towards a big pay-per-view is enough. It's not really six weeks, though. It's like it's like five, and he like does... one, of the, one of them is the go-home for this upcoming pay-per-view, so it's not like we'd be doing anything there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hear me out. Okay. What if Joey Janela helped Jake Hager beat Keith Lee? Oh my god! <laughs> and Joey Janela and Keith Lee fought at Slammiversary because those two were uh, friends and everything. And it there's a whole build there. Well, there's got to be that's. I feel like that's got to be a tag match or like a multi or like no. Jack uh, Hager's getting dropped the fuck out of that feud. Like Keith Lee could beat Hager on a an impact if if we want. I was thinking you make it like a multi man. Like, you're like Hager. Like a like a multi person street fight, Hagger, Kane, and Joey Janela against Keith Lee and some friends. We are not putting Kane in that match. I think even but, Joey can not be friends with Hagger. Like Joey could just be like, "No, you're 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 a." Bum. But didn't we already yeah. feud Keith Lee and Joey Janela? We did, yes, and it didn't work at the time, so we quickly abandoned it. Yes, so we could go back to it without too much of an issue. I, I just feel like we did. We've done it. What if we do the triple threat then? Lee Hager and, and Janela. That's equally weird. Okay. What if Joey wins the X Division title? I mean, we just tried that too, and it, it went poorly. Uh, okay. Who, who are other people that can talk? Can like can we look at our roster sorted by like the best talkers? What's Alex Shelley doing at Slammiversary? I don't know. Maybe like I feel like him wrestling Joey Janela is a big step down for him. Uh, here's our top five talkers. <laughs> All right, Joey and Mercedes Moon, done. <laughs> Boom, nailed Boom. it. Also, I can't believe she made the top five talkers. Have we ever had her cut promos? I'm sure we have. Okay. Um, I can't. I can do in terms of skill. I am looking for. Um, Mike's Entertainment. Where's our entertainment? Uh, 
Let's see if we can get any greats. Joey, James Storm, Ethan Carter, Mercedes Moon, Sting, The Rock, and Ultramantis Black. Fuck, if I could get Joey and Ultramantis in a feud. Hey, man, just did a couple death matches. He, he, he might be willing to go through some fucking light tubes. Um, Yeah, Joey and Pentagon would be a good one. Dan Barry. Dan Barry. <sighs> Are we are we giving Dan Barry a new gimmick? What's his gimmick now? Detective. It's literally detective. Okay, of course it is. Yeah, but detective Dan Barry is such a good gimmick. Well, he is now a face detective. Yeah, I mean Alex Shelley is a good promo. So if we did just want to have Joey cut promos like him and Alex Shelley could work. Yeah, and it could be more of Joey stepping up than Alex stepping down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. Maybe Shelly Janelli at Slammiversary. That's not spelled right. That's fine. Uh, you know, normally I would give you a hard time about misspelling something, but when it's a dumb made-up word like Slammiversary, I'll uh, give you a pass. Yeah. Well, Versary is the part that I spelled wrong. <laughs> That's a real word. Eh, uh, well. So that is that is going to be our stream, because you have a... I got Fire Pro in about yeah five minutes ish. So you you want to hype your hype your Fire Pro? Sure. Let me let me tell you guys, it's gonna be a heck of a show. I, I've taken a couple weeks off here. I'm I got a new streaming rig set up here, so it should be hopefully a nice high quality stream. All right, let's see. We got Alistair Black defended the uh, world title against Tim Thatcher, Tommaso Ciampa, and Nick the Swarley Cup Legend Jackson in a steel cage grudge match. Uh, Undisputed Era defend the tag team titles against Larry Sweeney and Juice Robinson. <laughs> Shane Douglas will wrestle Stokely Hathaway uh, in a match that is very relevant to our TW viewers right now. The feud is going to come to life as The Rock from Team Nick will take on Jack Swagger from Team Rude Boy. Great. <laughs> also, Kingpin will wrestle Liam Neeson. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> you heard me. Kingpin will wrestle Liam Neeson, amongst other things. So go check that out on my uh, Twitch channel in about uh, five or ten minutes. The best thing that I do is not looking at those before <laughs> you say them. Because there's always one match that just legitimately yeah. gets me. Yeah, there's always one match where I'm like, I got three teams I got to put left to book. What can I do? Oh, I know. <laughs> Kingpin versus Liam Neeson. Got it. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be in that chat if you want to hang out there. Um, otherwise, I will be on for Nick versus chat tomorrow at 9-ish. So we'll hang out then. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye, guys.